Hi, this is Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Uh, once upon a time, Hollywood used to make westerns. They used to make a lot of westerns. These days, they're few and far between, so filmmakers who want to do them have to kind of smuggle them inside other movies. Um, James Mangold has made uh, three westerns, only one of them overtly, uh, 310 to Yuma. Uh, the other two are his recent uh, movie, Logan, one of the best superhero movies of recent vintage, uh, and this one, Copland, starring Sylvester Stallone. Um, it's interesting. This was a, a really great script that was floating around town for a long time. Um, and I remember getting my hands on it and reading it. Uh, Copland tells a story of a small town across the river from New York where a bunch of police have bought, uh, New York police have bought homes and now live in Sylvester Stallone as the sheriff of the town. And he's starting to suspect that they're up to no good. So he's been keeping an eye on them and they're aware that he's watching them. Um, the script, unfortunately, it's not in the movie. The script started with a couple of lines from a Bruce Springsteen song, Tougher Than the Rest, which recontextualized becomes absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's Saturday night. You're all dressed up in blue. I've been watching you a while. I think you've been watching me too. Uh, perfect opening. Uh, unfortunately, not in the actual film, but this is James Mangold's Copland. In the city of New York, a crime is committed every eight seconds. But just across the river lies a quiet town called Garrison, New Jersey. I think we all love Sylvester Stallone. To me, he's one of those actors, kind of like Charles Bronson, where you wish he was in more movies that were as good as his presence. But there are a few, and we're, we're lucky to have them. Uh, Rocky, First Blood, and absolutely Copland. I think like Rocky, Copland plays with Sylvester Stallone's actual kind of place in the world as an actor. When he wrote Rocky, it was a pretty thinly veiled metaphor for uh, where he was as an actor and where he hoped to go. And then Copland, placing him in the context of a bunch of amazing actors. I mean, listen to this cast. It's Robert De Niro, Harvey Keitel, Ray Liotta, Annabella Sciorra, among many others. And Stallone is the man outside, the man who wants to be one of them. And if you think about it, you know, if his career had taken another turn, he very well would have been one of these actors. So every scene in which he's talking to someone like De Niro or Keitel and yearns to live the life that they're living has this extra poignancy because of who Stallone is. His great, wonderful, kind of Victor Mature hangdog look uh, has never worked better for a character. There's also an amazing number of The Sopranos cast in this movie. The Sopranos would start uh, uh, shooting about a year from this. And you have to imagine that the people who cast that show and David Chase were big fans. I mean, even Polly Walmuts shows up in one scene in a black and white photograph. But the movie is a Western, don't be fooled. Uh, Sylvester Stallone is the sheriff who's got to go it alone against the bad guys. And uh, it ends with an absolutely amazing shootout. Copland. <laughs> 